How are you guys doing? Good. All right. Keeping your social distance. Cos Rogarab starts a friendly conversation that quickly turns dark and violent. How far do you want him to go? I want the face, the legs, the, the spine and the back really messed up. Um, and go from there. Court transcripts so, uh, indicate Garib allegedly hired a hitman. The target? His ex-wife and mother of two kids, Bahar Dinesh. You know, I just can't believe it's real. Um, he actually made a down payment to hire someone to torture me to death. I need the permanent damage on this person. I mean, in a good way. I want almost 100 different things broken from the spine to the ankle to the knee. There are several recorded Every conversations. Day. Court documents indicate Garib allegedly tried for two months to hire more than one person for the hit. Also, when your guy is doing it, I, I kind of need a heads up because I need to be somewhere, you know, with the witnesses and all that stuff so I can you know, go from there. I don't this is going to come back to me for sure. Court documents also state, quote, the defendant keeps telling the hitman, if you need to eliminate her, go ahead. What else can we do? If the brother becomes a problem, you can eliminate him too. It shows the rage, the anger, but also the sense of control. Attorney Tracy Green is representing Bahar. She's concerned for her client's safety and disappointed the L.A. District Attorney's Office chose to file a charge of solicitation to commit assault instead of solicitation to commit murder. He made it pretty clear, yes, his preference was that she be put in, not, not wake up, permanently damaged, and, and be out for a couple of years, but then killing is okay. You want me to just kill her, just get it done? Just get it? Well, yeah, you know, if you can get it done, get it done, or if it's a, some sort of permanent damage that she cannot ever come back from. The hitman allegedly received a $1,000 down payment and would receive the rest of the money after the job was completed. 15 if it's just a repair, 20 if it's just completely way out. So how can you assure me that this will be done? This is another thing. That, you know, I'm giving you the money right now. Luckily for Bahar, the hitman was an undercover LAPD officer. My life is never the same anymore. Physically, he didn't kill me, but he killed my soul, you know. When we first told you about this story, the L.A. County DA's office issued the following statement. There was insufficient evidence to prove solicitation for murder because the defendant specifically instructed not to kill the intended victim. I understand the DA's position is that if um, this, this type of crime requires express intent, I want someone killed, but I, I think they're being too conservative if they think, oh, that type of language doesn't show express intent to kill, then why are you quoting a price for a killing if there's no intent to kill? Since Garib was charged with a lesser offense of solicitation to commit assault, he will most likely get probation. Just thinking of that, that he can just be out there free again, access to phone, computer, why wouldn't he go hire someone to kill me? Our thanks to Gina Silva for that report. The next hearing on this case is scheduled for Tuesday.